Gujarat State Fertilizers and Chemicals Limited. The company has announced a payment of a dividend of 10 rupees per share, boasting a high dividend yield of 6.60%. The book closure period for this dividend is from the 8th of September to the 22nd of September. Data Infrastructure Trust, in a positive move for investors. The trust has declared a total distribution of 3.6227 rupees per unit. This distribution is set to be paid on or before the 4th of September. The all important record date for this distribution is the 29th of August. Investors in Pearl Global Industries Limited have reason to celebrate as the company has approved its first interim dividend of 5 rupees per share. This dividend is scheduled to be paid within 30 days, and the record date is set for the 1st of September, 2023. A final dividend of 2.50 rupees per share has been announced by Remagnesitor India Limited. Shareholders can expect this payment on the 6th of October. The record date for this dividend is the 14th of September, 2023. Sima SGS Technology Limited has recommended a final dividend of 1.50 rupees per share. The record date for this dividend is the 1st of September, 2023. Investors and in UCAN India Limited are poised for a potential dividend as the annual general meeting is scheduled to be held on the 14th of September. The record date for eligibility for this dividend is the 6th of September. 2023. With their annual general meeting scheduled for the 8th of September, DMR Hydro Engineering and Infrastructures Limited is in the process of arranging payment of their final dividend within 30 days from the AGM. The record date for this dividend is the 1st of September, 2023. JTL Industries Limited has a noteworthy development on the horizon with a record date set for the 7th of September, for the issuance of bonus shares in the ratio of 1 is to 1. This means that shareholders will receive one bonus share for every one share held, both with the same face value of 2 rupees. SEPC Limited has announced a rights issue with a face value of 10 rupees per share, for an amount not exceeding 50 crore. A request has been made by Maharashtra Corporation Limited for the payment of the call money on or before the 28th of August, without any interest and a waiver of the same. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like, subscribe, press the bell icon and never miss an update, share and comment your thoughts on the comment section. And stay tuned with Corporate Actions India.